हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू अवर लास्ट वीडियो द लास्ट चैप्टर व्हिच इज नेम्ड एज द अर्थ इन द सोलर सिस्टम सो लेट अस कंटिन्यू वी एंडेड अप इन द लास्ट वी एंडेड अप इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑन सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द कॉन्स्टेलेशंस सो व्हाट आर कॉन्स्टेलेशंस सो कॉन्स्टेलेशंस आर बेसिकली द ग्रुप ऑफ स्टार्स व्हिच शो वेरियस पैटर्न्स दीज आर कॉल्ड एज constellations so uh, few examples of constellations are ursa major which is also called as saptarishi then orion which uh, makes a particular pattern you can see here okay so saptarishi is one of the most recognized constellation uh, in ancient time in the day time people used to know the direction by the sun because it rises in the east and it sets in the west so accordingly they used to uh, make out their directions but what about the night time so in the night time the ancient people used to take uh, help of the constellations how how they used to use the constellations to know the direction so uh, what they used to do is if in this picture if you see th- there is a saptarishi or some major okay uh, this is called as saptarishi because the, this is made up of seven stars seven stars together make this pattern and there are this pointer stars so for uh, from pointer stars if you make an imaginary line you can see uh, the pointer stars extend further to a brightly shining star which is called as north star it is also called as pole star so the north star indicates the north direction and it is also named as pole star it always remains in the same place so whenever in the night time they used to know that they wanted to know the direction so they used to uh, see the north star so where, wherever the north star is that is the north direction behind that is the south and then east and west direction so this is how they used to make out the direction by the use of constellation so there are some celestial bodies uh, which do not have their own heat and light they lit by the light of the stars such bodies are called as planet so here you can see the planet is getting the light of the light from the sun and that is why th- there is day and light uh, night occurring uh, on the planet so the that is why these kind of celestial bodies uh, they do not have their own heat and light they get lit up by the help of different uh, by the help of the stars from which they get the planet so sun is also a star which is a big source of heat and light energy so they get the light from the sun then the word planets let us see the origin of the word planet from where does this uh, word planet came from okay so it came from a greek word known as planetai now planetai it means wanderers now what what is wanderers what do you mean by wanderers so wanderers are uh, well, you can call people as wanderers those who keep on traveling those who keep on moving okay always moving so planet as we know planet they keep on moving they always have a movement going on a rotation revolution which uh, which never stops okay and that is why they are called as wanderers okay so that is how the planet word came from the greek word called as planetai the earth is the planet and the moon is the satellite of the earth remember this sentence okay remember this uh, sentence very well we are going to study it when we will see about the moon okay but for now uh, get uh, know that the earth is a planet and moon is the satellite of the earth okay there are two types of satellite basically artificial and uh, natural so moon is the natural satellite of the earth similarly we have many different more planets uh, which makes the whole solar system okay so let us see let us start with the solar system so what is solar system it is basically the sun and its family together is known as solar system now family means what uh, eight planets and different satellites and the celestial bodies all all these these are the families of the sun so the sun is the head of the family and we have different members in the family okay so solar system the sun and planets then asteroids then uh, comets uh, meteoroids celestial bodies 
all this together forms a solar system so now we can categorize the planets into two parts one is inner planets and the other one is outer planets now what exactly difference is so the one which are under the asteroid belts okay asteroid belt is there and under that we have mercury venus earth and mars these planet are categorized as inner planets and over here jupiter saturn uranus neptune which are which are not included inside they are after the asteroid belt these planets are called as outer planets okay so now let us see what exactly difference is inner planets are very close to the sun they are made up of rocks okay so these planets as we can see the distance from the sun is not that much okay so they are very much close to the sun and they are made up of rocks so examples of inner planets are mercury venus earth and mars okay now let us see about outer planets these planets are very far from the sun they are huge planets and are made up of gases and liquids so we can see they are already the distance from the sun is very much far and also the size you can see the size of mercury venus earth over here and the size of jupiter saturn it is very much big okay so they are huge planets they are far away from the sun and they are made up of gases and liquid different kind of gases and different kind of liquids okay so the examples are jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so we can categorize we can say that on the basis of the distance from the sun and the things by which the planets are made up of we can categorize planets into two categories one is inner planet and the other one is outer planets inner planets have those planets which are near to the sun and the outer planets those which are far from the sun okay and outside the asteroid belt okay so now, now let us see about the sun okay so the sun is in the center of the solar system and also we can call sun as the head of the solar system okay it is huge and made up of extremely hot gases and it also provides a pulling force which binds the solar system means the earth or and different planets which revolves around the sun which revolves around the sun in an orbit okay these planets are on their places they are maintained on their places because of the pulling force which is provided by the sun okay so the planets are in the places and that places in the solar system that is because of the pulling force which is provided by the sun also the sun is the ultimate source of heat and light energy which we already know and the sun is about 150 km away from the earth so this is the distance of the sun from the earth now let us talk about planets so there are eight planets in the solar system okay and uh, we can classify them or we can uh, they, we can say that they are arranged in order to the distance to their distance from the sun okay so the one if i say mercury so mercury has the less the least distance from the sun if uh, if we compare mercury to the neptune okay so neptune is far away from the sun and uh, mercury is very much nearer to the sun so according to the distance they are arranged in a particular sequence that is mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so when you are asked about the sequence of the planet you have to remember this sequence okay so to make it easier to remember we can say that we can remember it by this uh, sentence my very efficient mother just served us nuts or nutella okay so now how how does that give us idea about the planets m resembles the mercury then v of very resembles venus then e of efficient shows earth m of mother shows mars j of Ju just shows jupiter s of served shows saturn u uranus n of nuts or nutella gives the idea of neptune okay so this is how we can remember you can make any sentence of your choice you can add on or uh, you can add any other things if you like nuts nutella anything else 
so uh, you can tell me uh, if you get any new idea or creative idea of getting the sentence to remember the sequence of the planet so my very efficient mother just served us nuts or nutella gives us the sequence of the planets okay so this is how it becomes easier to remember now next is the planets move around the sun in a, in the fixed path which is called as orbit we have already seen orbit it is an elliptical path which is there around the sun in which each of the planet revolves okay so different planets take different time period to complete one revolution around the sun why is it so why they have different time periods it is depending on the distance okay so uh, if we talk about mercury mercury is going to require less days to complete one revolution compared to that 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 of neptune because neptune or uranus or saturn they are very much far away for, from the sun and mercury is very much nearer so if we talk about the radius in which they are revolving the radius is lesser uh, if we talk about mercury and the radius uh, of the orbit is more if we talk about uranus and because of which the time period also varies okay so mercury as it is the first planet it will take lesser time to complete its one revolution and saturn uranus neptune neptune it will take the largest time to complete its one revolution okay so here is an example mercury takes about 88 days to complete its to complete its one revolution whereas when we talk about earth it takes about 365 days to complete one revolution around the sun and this is how the time period varies if it if we compare two planets uh, which revolve around the sun so one revolution of mercury it takes place eight, in 88 days and uh, in earth it takes 365 days to complete one revolution so it depends on the distance from the sun now here are few facts about the planets let us see uh, what are the facts about the planets so mercury it is the nearest planet to the sun which we already have seen uh, so because it is the first in the sequence so it is the nearest planet to the sun now venus it is considered as earth's twin why venus is considered as earth's twin it is because of the size and shape of venus is very much similar to that of earth so that is why it is also called as earth's twin so it can be asked uh, that uh, which planet is known as earth's twin the answer is venus and there was a planet which is named which was named as pluto which was considered as planet before but international astronomical uh, union uh, they uh, in 2000 august 2006 they announced the pluto as dwarf planet it is not considered in the planets now okay it is a dwarf planet uh, before 2006 we had nine planets in the plan uh, solar system but now we have eight planet the pluto is taken out from the sequence and it is uh, uh, named as dwarf planet now so jupiter uh, saturn and uranus these planets have rings around them and these ring rings belts are made up of small debris small debris of uh, rocks or different asteroids okay so uh, this these are the facts about the planets uh, and also uh, and also few things are there about earth moon uh, interesting thing about earth moon and asteroids meteoroids which we will see in our next video till then you be then stay home stay safe